Woo. It's raining cats and dogs out there. On the way to work this morning, it was pouring. Let's get you updated on this 58. Good morning. Anthony Cordova here, back with another video. I'm trying to get back on this daily vlog and I think I'm gonna start launching, I think. I tried it before, but it seemed like a lot. I'm getting better at doing the video editing of these videos or faster at it. So I think I can upload daily. I'm gonna try it. I have so much footage on this 58 and I wanna bring you the updates and I wanna keep you updated on where we are on it. And I was doing some video editing this morning and I was going through all my videos. I kind of have everything kind of just scattered on my phone from personal stuff to 58 content to other content that I bring you as far as like the lowrider series is that I did here recently, like how to build a lowrider, or what you need to build your first lowrider and how much does it cost to build a, build a lowrider. And I'm gonna be bringing you more of those videos. So I got so many people that have different opinions on what it costs to build a lowrider. And yeah, there's different levels of building a lowrider. There's a hundred thousand, there's I'm sure there's more than a hundred thousand dollar cars out there. I'm sure there's two hundred and three hundred and four hundred and half a million dollar cars out there and million dollar cars out there and there's $20,000 cars out there. There's $5,000 cars out there that are done. You can do cheap, but I plan on probably bringing you a real low budget lowrider build video and a high budget lowrider build video. I'm, I'm just gonna keep them coming because those videos seem to be making some significant progress in the views of my channel. But I wanted to today get you caught up to where we're at on this 58 and see what's been done so far. As far as the metal work, obviously we have it all apart. If you watch some of the other videos, I showed some footage of me taking it apart, taking it to the media blaster and also some footage of me working on the trunk gutter or weather strip channel, the, the jam on the trunk. As you can see here on that rear body panel, I did some work. I made a piece of reinforcement for the toe panel to cowl to rocker to floor panel on this right side in one of the videos. And then I also made some pieces for the floor that weren't made. I have all the sheet metal now that I need or that I can get that they offer for this car. And I'm working on that. And in the last month or so, I've built a bunch of pieces for the inners of the quarter panel. I'm pretty much replacing this whole left side the whole bottom left side of this 58. And over here, you can see, I've got the outer rocker, the outer quarter panel section. Those are all pretty much ready to go in. Actually, the outer rocker, I had to do a bunch of metal work on it to get it kind of get that, get some contour some vertical contour on it. So it has some vertical contour because when it got here, it was just flat. I've trimmed all of it up. So I just have the piece that I'm gonna use. I've already installed the inner rocker all from front to back. So I've replaced the whole inner rocker. I've made some pieces for the reinforcement on the quarter window regulator panel. And that's a panel that holds your your door panel on the inside, the trim panel, the, the the rear arm seat, the rear arm rest. It holds the window regulator for the quarter window. I made some pieces 
for the rear seat pan on this car and I had to make those by hand. Those all went in, they're welded in already. I made some pieces for the quarter extension, which is a piece that goes from the wheel well and it welds also to the inner rocker and it welds to the quarter panel. So I've made those pieces, I've repaired the wheel well. Yesterday I went ahead and made a section for the, the little quarter panel here. There was a piece that, that was in here that was that was bad on the on the quarter panel on the outside. So I made some patch panels for that and welded those in yesterday. So today what I have to do is I have to get this car up on the side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna so I'm going to bring the car up on and have the belly facing me on this side. And this thing, when I measured it, I measured the body from floor brace to floor brace and I tried to square it up last week and it's a little off on the measurement. I went yesterday and measured the frame. The frame's in perfect square and measurements. So that tells me that there's a little damage on this floor brace and I did see some damage on this floor brace on this rear floor brace where it mounts to the frame. So I'm gonna have to bring this car up on the belly on this side so it'll be the belly will be like this and I'm gonna have to repair this rear floor brace that goes from side to side and hopefully that'll take care of that bad measurement it, it's in quite a bit it's got a huge dent in it so hopefully that'll take care of that so that we don't have to try to because the way I'm looking at it right now is this floor brace on the rear which is like right here with this quarter panel, right in the middle of this quarter panel, all the way across to the other side, is it's over that way, about uh, a little less than eighth of an inch. So I'm just hoping that that dent on the floor brace is gonna bring that measurement out because it could be that just the dent is kind of making it measure off a little bit. And then I have to, get my rocker up there and and get my final cut on my rocker and then i have to i don't know if that's all going to happen today but i have to get my final cut on my rocker and trim trim the rest of the of the existing rocker away so that i can butt weld that rocker in i've got it pretty much shaped to where i want it i do have to do a little bit of shaping on it yet and then i'll also weld in a piece that i made for the quarter window regulator panel, a little a little section that was rusted. And then I'll weld the rest of my inners for my quarter panel section in. And then I'll install my quarter panel section. I do have to do a little bit of metal shaping on the quarter panel section, but we'll just get started with that. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this car up on the side and then I'm gonna go ahead and repair that rear floor brace. All right, let's do it. But first I gotta reel in this come along. Come along little doggy. Also, these are some of the other pieces that gotta go in. This is a bracket for the rear seat. That's a piece that I cut out of the floor that was all rusted and had some holes in it. So that piece is already welded in. Actually this piece here, I just gotta re remove this bracket for the seat mount and put that in here's a piece that i made for it this is a quarter extension that goes to the wheel well that sits inside your quarter panel on the bottom and this flange goes to the to the wheel well and this flange here goes to the outside i started to make this in one piece and i ended up i ended up making it in two pieces it was just too hard to try to get try to get this contour and then get this curb and stretch this all out to meet, to meet the quarter panel. So I ended up making this piece separate. And then I sal I ended up salvaging this piece here that, that has that bend in it and has these flanges. And this goes to your inner rocker here. But I ended up making this corner section and doing all this, the shrinking and stretching on this corner section separately. And then trimming that other piece and then welding it 
welding it together, attacking it together. I still got to clean it up and put it in. It's got a little gap in here and I'll obviously weld that solid. Here's another piece that goes inside the rocker and it sits just like, like that. And then the rocker is goes around it. That, that goes in. And I'm sure there's some other stuff that I'm missing. But yesterday I did, like I said, I made I made this piece here. And this is a two, this is two pieces right here. This is this piece right here. And it and it goes to here. And you can see the weld right there. And then there's this little piece here that was all rusted. And then this piece in here on the wheel well is also repaired. So I had to make a piece that goes inside on the wheel well. This piece here is a separate piece, and this piece is a separate piece. I still gotta do some body work here and kind of planish that a little bit better. Kind of sucked in when I welded it and cleaned that weld up a little bit more. But my quarter panel will go right along this edge and meet to this line right here, and I still gotta trim this away. And I made this piece that has a bend in it and then, and then it goes down, it has a flange to meet this inner rocker, this inner rocker is all brand new, like I said, all the way up to up to right here. And then this is mismatched because this is a little bit stretched out. This is all repaired in here. So this has kind of a step right there, but I put the rocker section up there and it pretty much goes right along this line. So whenever I get that rocker up there, the outer the outer section of the rocker up there, I'll go ahead and clean that edge up and make it all nice and square or nice and, nice and, and, and flush. And then also, if you look in here, there's another weld in here. And this section of the inner rocker is all replaced. See, the only original section of this inner rocker is from here to about right here and the rest is all brand new and then I'll come in here and then I'll trim away the rest of this existing jam in here this door jam and then this outer rocker will come up to meet somewhere in around this area and I'll butt weld that together I got to make the flange on that outer rocker and the quarter panel section that comes that welds in right here and then I'll cut the rest of this, this bracing out that's welded to this floor brace in the front and the back. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put my floor sections in on this side. But I wanna make sure that I get that floor brace all squared away first.
Well, we got her within a 30 seconds of an inch. So I would call that a success. And I'm glad that it worked out because I did not want to have to drill through that brand new inner rocker to hook up to that floor brace just to pull it. And then I would have had to rig something up between two forklifts or to the wall or to a pole or to some kind of structure to pull the, that floor brace over. So it ended up working out with just a port of power. I was able to get it within specs. So it's good to go. The next step is, and I already started, is welding this inner structure. I got all the clamps right there welding all that inner structure together. So there's a, there's the window regulator panel for the quarter window. And that goes to the inner structure of the inner rocker. And then that also gets welded to the outer rocker panel and the outer quarter panel section. So I'm welding that up right now. And then tomorrow, cross our fingers, I'll get all the rest of the outside of this quarter panel and the rest of the of the rocker welded up. Do the final trim on that and the final trim on the quarter panel and get that all welded. I was able to yesterday I didn't I didn't really film it. I, at least I don't think I filmed it. I don't remember now. But this uh around this these fins right here it was all caved in so i was able to get all that out and metal work all that and take do the body work on that so that's what we're doing it's almost the end of the day so i'm going to get the rest of this welded up the rest of this inner structure welded up and then tomorrow i'll get the outer section welded up Well, it's the end of the day. Thank God we got that floor brace straightened out. That was a huge worry that I was gonna have to do that again. Let me say that again. It was a huge worry for me. So we did that, got the inner structure all welded for the quarter panel tomorrow, put the outer on. And I even got some corrosion protection in the form of self-etching primer and some sealer so that'll dry tonight tomorrow come in get that quarter panel final fit on there that rocker final fit and then weld that shit up and then onto the floors finally finally i'm happy that everything worked out today because yesterday i was like fuck this shit i'm out and then i went and got a port of power and fixed it but anywho, catch you guys tomorrow.